nine times out of ten on a Monday morning I go for a run as some sort of penance for enjoying my weekend and uh, this is one of those runs. Also, look how high the river is at the moment. You can't tell, that's usually a lot lower. <laughs> Are you ready to hear some complete and utter 100% bona fide? I can't believe this is happening to me. Pure bullshit. The other day, I got a parking ticket. So just over a month ago on the 11th of July was day 29 of me living in a van for 30 days and I filmed on that day with Matthew Pullen and if you haven't seen that episode I highly recommend it. I'm gonna look at it in a metaphorical way. <laughs> So on the 12th of July, before I went and saw Matthew, I came to this services here, Moto Birch West. And this is where I got the parking ticket. There's a picture of Betty pulling in. There's a picture of Betty pulling out. Unimpressed. So according to my parking ticket, I was here for three and a half hours. And I remember it quite vividly. It was raining quite a lot, as I'm sure you remember from the video. Is it mean that I'm making a cancer patient walk around in a field? Like in, in the, the rain, rain. Yeah. is that mean? Yeah. And I had a bit of time to kill before I saw Matthew, so I came here to get some food, to do a bit of work, and then I think I just used the facilities here a bit, so I wasn't using it excessively. I mean, three and a half hours is a long time out of services, but I was working and I was sort of using the Costa and the Greggs and all sorts in there, so I was giving them my business. I'm feeling pretty peeved about the fact that I have to pay a parking ticket for using their services. Now on the ticket they've put this parking sign here, which is just like a digital rendering of a sign that says you can only be here for two hours, so I've come here to check that there actually was signs, because I want to know whether or not I can appeal this fuck or not, but I might not be able to. So charges apply for all vehicles after two hours, camera enforcement in operation. But if I was to stay here for three hours, the price was 15 pounds, which seems unreasonable. So I was either gonna pay 15 pounds or they've now charged me 100 pounds as my ticket price. I'm not impressed, Moto Services. I'm not entirely sure how it got there, but there is a, a D-Bad sticker here. Don't be a dick. Uh, I guess at some point, Moto Birch West, you've been deemed a dick, so yeah, there's a reminder, don't be a dick. So I guess this is a bit of a public service announcement, don't use Moto Services. <laughs> petty, so petty. I'm kind of bored. Charlie's working from home today. Hey. Hi. Got two laptops going there. Yeah? What you doing? I need to find some papers. Yeah? Yeah. Wanna play a game? No. Wanna share this chair? I reckon no. I can fit on there with no. you. Why not? If you're bored. I'm bored. Go and change the light bulb. Which bulb? That one. Bedroom bulb? Mm. Why am I getting deja vu? What should I do a video on? How to change a light bulb. I think she might just be saying that because there's a light bulb in our room which I haven't changed yet. Are you having fun? I'm just seeing which bulb was the one that I needed to change. 17 times? Yeah! <laughs> it's that one. Yeah, it's that one. <laughs> Impressed? Very. <laughs> I'm so manly, aren't I? My hero. Oh, 
is that garlic naan? It is indeed. What is in that? Prawns and lentils and red pepper. Smells good. So I have decided that I'm going to appeal that parking ticket. No, you're not. I've already paid it. What?